years old, and he opted for the touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Touchdown! Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Extra point good by Hopkins, and that will make this a four-point game. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Mayfield. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And to the 46, he goes and no further, so he is well short of the first down marker. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here comes Carter. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. First down, and they stick with Eckler. They'll get this up to about the 44. 
Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Back to throw here, Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now it's third and three. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver where he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here now Roberts. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Panthers will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That is first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball will get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. First and 10, Mayfield. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. And again, it's Mayfield. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, Big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll take this down to the 33. I feel like I can see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six, Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. To throw Mayfield. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. Partner, for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. 
He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. The Charger drive about to get going. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead that they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. The tackle by Matthew Ioannidis. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. They had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Eluding the pressure right. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Give them 32 on the play. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. Up the middle with Eckler. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula, just keep the ball on the ground, keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down, stopped at the Panthers 34. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lumen. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game without just a five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 66 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Once more, here's Eckler. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps him in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Eckler now between the tackles. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. 
And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. This defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but it works in part. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers will add to their fourth quarter lead. with the extra point and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. He's at the 40. 20, 10, 5. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Carolina. So they got the touchdown they needed to cut this to two. But now they've got to get back to the huddle. No celebration time. Got to figure out what they're going to do with the two-point conversion. Mayfield going to try to throw for the two. Being chased out left. And he's got it. The conversion good, and we are tied in the fourth. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Charger drive about to get going. As the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff, it's Eckler, and he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Herbert. 
And that's into the hands of Eckler. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely running flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. On to give. This is Eckler. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 113 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Probably at 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Working, they'll stick with it on first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. get a timeout with two ticks left. So now it all comes down to Dustin Hopkins. Two seconds on the clock, this for the win. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot. And they've come in here and stolen one on the road. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win.